good morning and welcome to all of you bsc first year students of sem semester second in physical science student in last part we have discussed we have study various aspects of paper 4 such as study of natural fish seed collection in india from the riverine sources which river system these are to be used to collect the fish seed in natural ways in natural manners we have study we have seen in first two parts in third part we are studying the nets are the gears which is to be used to collect the natural fish seed from the riverine sources means <coughs> with this different sources naturally seed these are to be collected naturally seed these are to be gathered by fishermen or the fishing communities in natural way in natural manners then today we have discuss the second criteria the first criteria natural seed these are to be collected by river and sources from the river systems five river systems then the second criteria the second important part that is fish seed collection these are to be done in indian waters in indian regions but that fish seed collection is to be from the bandh breeding bandh breeding and in this bandh breeding the first type of bandh is the wet bandh first we have discuss what is in by bandh breeding and then we have discuss that is the wet bandh what is mean by the wet bandh boys we all know that that is fishes these are to be spawn fishes these are to be breed fishes these are to be spawn these are to be breed in natural ways in natural manners yes fishes breeds two types in water medium fishes these are to be breed in two types in water medium some fishes spawns naturally in ponds rivers lakes reservoirs ferries other fishes these fishes these are to be do not in natural water bodies such as ponds rivers or the lakes means some fishes these are to be spawn in natural water and some fishes these are to be spawn these are to be do not spawn in such natural water but these fishes these are to be spawn these are to be breed spawning means and galne ke baad breeding karna spawns are breed in the confined water bodies confined water bodies manje bandhist water bodies kiwa saglya side na water he band kelele that confined water bodies fishes these are to be spawn these are to be breed importantly some fishes these are to be spawn some fishes these are to be breed in natural way natural manners in rivers rivers reservoirs streams channels lake or those fair water these are to be present in such water bodies these fishes these are to be spawn these are to be breed this is the first category second category fishes these are to be do not spawn do not breed in such first category but these are to be spawn these are to be breed in a confined water all sides water these are to be confined embankment such fishes or fishes belong to the this second category do not ordinarily do not breed natural way in ponds in these lakes or reservoirs the most important cultivated species like indian major carps like indian major carps chinese carps and few commercial species like mullet fish like milk fish or other varieties of fishes means major carp chinese carp then mullets milk fish these fishes these are to be spawn these are to be breed 
in such confined waters commercial species these are also breed these are also spawn in this confined water majority of these fishes have been introduced to breed by developing various technologies various methods and these methods are nothing but the breeding by special type of ponds breeding fishes these are to be breed spawn in a special type of pond that pond is called as the band breeding what is mean by the band breeding bands are nothing but specialized types of ponds fair riverine condition these are to be stimulated and this riverine condition these are to be stimulated these are to be for in such confined area in such a complete bandist area fishes these are to be spawn these are to be breed it is called as the band breeding remember that what is mean by band breeding दोन प्रकारचे फिश कॅटेगरी असतात एक नैसर्गिक पद्धतीने वाहत्या पाण्यात आणणे घालणारे आणि दुसरे सगळ्या साईडनं पाणी बंदिस्त आहे अशा बंदिस्त पाण्यात आणणे घालणारे वाहत्या पाण्यात आणि बंदिस्त पाण्यात टू कॅटेगरीज त्याच्यामध्ये आपण पाहत आहोत बंद ब्रिडिंग म्हणजे काय पहिलं पाहिलं आपण नॅचरल वे फिश शीड दीज आर टू बी कलेक्टेड दीज आर टू बी गॅदर सेकंड कॅटेगरी दॅट इज द बंद ब्रिडिंग वॉट इज इन बाय द बंद बन्स आर नथिंग बट द स्पेशल टाईप वी हॅव सी दॅट बन्स आर नथिंग बट द स्पेशलाइज टाईप ऑफ फॉन्ड्स वेअर रिवराईन कंडिशन्स आर स्टिम्युलेटेड दे आर कन्स्ट्रक्टेड इन द मिडल ऑफ फास्ट लो लाईन एरिया दीज पॉन्ड्स दीज बन्स दे आर कन्स्ट्रक्टेड इन द मिडल ऑफ फास्ट लो लाईन एरियाज विथ प्रॉपर एम्बँकमेंट अँड proper embankment and receives large quantities of rain water after a heavy shower in such confined areas in such low lying areas fishes these are to be spawn these are to be breed it is called as the band breeding or that area is called as band bands are provided with an outlet for the overflow of excess water and shallow water areas which serves as a spawning ground for the fish where water the where these bunds these are to be flow completely flowing completely full fill water at that time excess water these are to be overflow for that purpose outlet these are to be provided and with this outlet excess water overflow water these are to be released outside by the bunds and shallow areas where spawning ground these are to be occur and in this spawning ground fish these are to be breed fish these are to be spawn the eggs that shallow ground is nothing but called as the band and that in such areas fish these are to be spawn fish these are to be breed it is called as the band breeding breeding of fish species in confined water bodies is generally preferred for seed production breeding of fish species in confined water bodies is generally preferred for a seed production due to easy involved in the collection and transportation of young ones but the widely cultured species of carps especially indian major carps katla lebu and mrigal do not breed in confined water or stagnant water bodies remember that indian major carps that is katla lebu and mrigal these species these are to be do not breed in confined water or such stagnant water or such band breeding the indian major carp generally breed in flooded rivers during the southwest monsoon months of june to august southwest monsoon manje jala par naisargik kiwa nairatya mausmi vare nairasmati mausmi vare kadi vahata june to september kiwa august man pavsaalyacha season man tela apan kay manto that is southwest monsoon in the confined waters of ponds they do mature but do not breed they do mature mature hota but do not breed if these mature breeders are transferred from confined water to semi confined rain water or rain fed ponds where the pond bottom is of muddy nature the fish breeds whenever there is a good rainfall and a 
drop in temperature of water whenever there is a these ponds these are to be muddy water fishes these are to be breed when wood rainfall these are to be occur and sudden dropping of temperature of water these are to be seen when such condition these are to be occur then these fishes these are to be spawn these are to be breed semi confined rain feed seasonal water semi confined rain feed seasonal water bodies have more dissolved oxygen more light more waves more water current and turbidity and less temperature which stimulate ovulation in fishes why in semi confined rain feed seasonal water bodies these are to be more important because they are more dissolved oxygen more light more water waves and more water current with more turbidity and less temperature which stimulate ovulation in fishes the buns are suitable place buns are suitable place in producing fish seed where excess of rain water is used excess of rain water is used in creating riverine condition which stimulate ovulation in fishes which stimulate ovulation in fishes means these buns are nothing but the specialized type of ponds fair riverine condition of running water these are to be converted into standing water on three sides embankment these are to be constructed and after this embankment after this cons- a construction of a three low line areas only one areas where water these are to be enter into this low line area and in these areas fishes these are to be stock fishes these are to be spawn and in such mature breeders these are to be collected from the perennial reservoirs perennial water source or the tanks just before onset of monsoon and during the first showers natural shower these fishes these are to be separately kept into the ponds such buns and with the onset of monsoon when these fishes male and female these are to be keep into these buns within short interval when surrounding condition these are to be suitable surrounding condition these are to be favorable at that time in such surrounding condition these are to be good then these fishes these are to be spawn these fishes these are to be breed and a pure quality good quality and desirable quantity of seed these are to be available with the band breeding with the band breeding that's why this band breeding these are to be important these are to be most useful for the production and for the formation of the good quality and pure quality of seed these are to produce with the help of the band breeding with the help of the band breeding then types of buns the buns are of three types here we have discussed only two but originally buns are of three types wet bun dry bun and modern bun buns are of three types wet bun dry bun and modern bun with these buns these fishes these are to be spawn these are to be breed means with the onset of monsoon with the onset of monsoon these mature breeders these are to be introduced into these buns that may be dry bun that may be wet bun or that may be modern bun successful spawning of these fishes these are to be occur these are to be takes place in the june to that is july or august months and fishes these are to be spawn these are to be breed and they have breed a good quality and quantity of eggs and these eggs these are to be used for the production of seed in hatcheries management in hatcheries technique these buns these are to be imported with this bun we have produced we have formed the desired quality and desired quantity of seed these are to produce that production that is called as the bund breeding that is called as the 
बन दीज बंस जनरली फाउंड इन वेस्ट बंगाल बिहार एंड इन मध्य प्रदेश इन दीज स्टेट दैट इज वेस्ट बंगाल बिहार एंड इन मध्य प्रदेश इन यूपी दीज बंस दीज आर टू बी यूज ऑन लार्ज स्केल फॉर द फिश सीड प्रोडक्शन एंड इन दीज स्टेट दैट इज वेस्ट बंगाल बिहार एम पी एंड यू पी दीज बंस दीज आर टू बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑन लार्ज क्वांटिटीज एंड सीड प्रोडक्शन इज टू बी डन इन मानसून सीजन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द रेनफॉल कंडीशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द बंद ब्रीडिंग एंड दीज बंस आर ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स वेट बंद ड्राई बंद एंड मॉडर्न बंद दीज बंस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वन बाय वन डिस्कस्ड विथ दिस फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस बंद ब्रीडिंग वॉट इज मीन बाय बंद एंड हाउ फिश दीज आर टू दिस पॉन रिमेंबर दैट बंस आर नथिंग बट द स्पेशलाइज टाइप ऑफ पॉन्ड्स विच इज टू बी क्रिएटेड बाय ह्यूमन एफर्ट बाय ह्यूमन बींग्स एम्बैंकमेंट दीज आर टू बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड थ्री साइड्स तीन साइड न बधकाम के बध घ साइड न वरिया साइड न पानी हत अड़ी दैट इज कॉल्ड एज ए स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ बंद एंड दीज बंस दीज आर टू बी यूजफुल टू प्रोड्यूस द लार्ज क्वांटिटी ऑफ यग प्रोडक्शन फॉर द मैच्युअर ब्रूडर्स दीज आर टू बी कीप इन टू दीज बंस एंड इन रेनी सीजन पेन दीज बंस दीज आर टू बी फुलफिल्ड बाय शावर्स रेन वॉटर्स एंड टेम्परेचर दीज आर टू बी ड्रॉपिंग डाउन देन फिश दीज आर टू बी स्पॉन दीज आर टू बी ब्रीड इन मानसून सीजन एंड डिजायर्ड क्वांटिटी एंड क्वालिटी ऑफ सीड दीज आर टू प्रोड्यूस इट इज कॉल्ड एज द बंद ब्रीडिंग एंड बंस आर ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स ड्राई बन वेट बन एंड मॉडर्न बन दीज बंस आर फाउंड एंड यूज इन एम पी मध्य प्रदेश यूज इन बिहार यूज इन वेस्ट बंगाल एंड यूज इन यू पी फॉर द सीड प्रोडक्शन अप टू हियर वी हैव सी द फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्टिव पार्ट देन नेक्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव सी द फर्स्ट बंद दैट इज द ड्राई बंद यस होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दीज वॉट इन बाय द बंस थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू